Installation Flowchart. Follow this installation flowchart to install the antenna. Unpacking and checking materials. Open the packaging containing the antenna and check that the antenna and its components are intact. Check that you have received all materials according to the packing list. Assembling the mounting bracket. 1. Install the azimuth adjustment rod. Connect the azimuth adjustment rod to the polarization fine adjustment mechanical part using the matching bolt to screw it in place. 2. Install the azimuth adjustment mechanical part. Place the appropriate bolts in the azimuth adjustment mechanical part. Place the part inside the polarization fine adjustment mechanical part and secure it in place with the appropriate bolts. 3. Install the Elevation Adjustment Mechanical Part. Connect the Elevation Adjustment Mechanical Part to the Polarization Fine Adjustment Mechanical Part and secure it in place with the appropriate bolts. 3. Mounting Bracket is now assembled. Connecting the Mounting Bracket and the Reflector. Secure the mounting bracket to the central plate with two bolts and one polarization fine adjustment rod with its matching bolt. The antenna is now assembled. Optional, changing the polarization direction of the antenna. 1. Change the polarization direction of the single polarized E-band. Unscrew the four hex socket screws inside the transition section, rotate it by 90 degrees, and then secure the screws in opposite pairs. Two. If a single polarized antenna is to be installed, change the polarization direction of the single polarized common band. Unscrew the four hex socket screws inside the transition section, rotate it by 180 degrees, and then secure the screws in opposite pairs. Three, if a combiner is required, Prepare for installation on a common band, single polarized antenna. Unscrew the four M6 screws on the connection plate, rotate it by 90 degrees, and then secure the screws in opposite pairs. Installing the common band dual polarized direct mount adapter. Remove the protective films from the waveguide ports on the adapter and antenna, as well as the metal protector from the waveguide port on the adapter. Evenly apply petroleum jelly on the gasket of the port that connects to the antenna on the dual polarized adapter. Screw in a hook onto the adapter. Then, fit the waveguide port that connects to the antenna on the adapter to the waveguide port on the antenna and tighten the four M6 hex socket screws in opposite pairs to secure the adapter to the antenna. Installing the antenna. 1. Install the antenna on a pole. Determine the direction and height for installing the antenna according to the network plan and secure the antenna to the determined position using the appropriate bolts. 2. Remove the rubber plugs at the bottom of the antenna from the drainage holes on the shield set. Installing the ODU and E-band device. 1. Install the ODU. Evenly apply petroleum jelly on the gasket of the port that connects to the antenna on the ODU and remove the protective film. Slide the hook on the ODU into the hook slot on the adapter and secure the ODU to the adapter. Note that the IF port on the ODU must face downward. Partially tighten the four captive screws on the ODU and then fully tighten them in opposite pairs. 
2. Install the E-Bend device. Evenly apply petroleum jelly on the gasket of the port that connects to the antenna on the E-Band device and remove the protective film. Slide the hook on the E-Band device into the hook slot on the antenna and secure the E-Band device to the antenna. Note that the IF port on the E-Band device must face downward. Partially tighten the four captive screws on the E-Band device and then fully tighten them in opposite pairs. Adjusting the azimuth and elevation of the antenna. 1. Coarsely adjust the azimuth. Loosen the M10 nuts on the clamps, rotate the antenna to the correct direction, and secure it in place. Use a compass to determine the direction if necessary. 2. Finally adjust the azimuth. Loosen bolts 3 and 4 by one turn, and then slowly screw nuts 1 and 2 inward or outward on the azimuth adjustment rod. The antenna's azimuth adjustment range is minus 15 degrees to plus 15 degrees. After adjustment, tighten bolts 4, nuts 1 and 2, and bolt 3. 3. Finally adjust the elevation. Loosen bolts 1, 2, and 3 by one turn, and then slowly screw bolt 4 clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust the elevation. The antenna's elevation adjustment range is minus 15 degrees to plus 15 degrees. After adjustment, tighten bolts 1, 2, and 3. Finally adjusting the XPD of the common band dual polarized antenna. Loosen bolts 3 and 4, and then slowly screw nuts 1 and 2 inward or outward on the polarization adjustment rod until the bubble is in the middle of the level. The antenna's XPD adjustment range is minus 5 degrees to plus 5 degrees. After adjustment, tighten nuts 1 and 2 and bolts 4 and 3. Checking after installation. 1. Remove the protective film from the radome. 2. Tighten all screws. 3. Check the antenna and the ODU to ensure that the installation complies with the installation guide and safety requirements.